Welcome back to the Outer Worlds with the Rude Man. And we made it to our ship. Uh, we looted it as well as we could. But uh, it needs repairs. And so we need to go find those pieces for the repairs. So we're out of here. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship. Mine? Right? Because you sure walked in it like it was no. your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Well, I don't work for you. Um, it's not my ship. Uh, let's see, I don't have a job. Uh, really, after I patched up your friend. Oh, hey, let's lie. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Oh, my God. Oh, they weren't kidding when they said these people were morons. Oh. All right. Now, before I go anywhere, let me see where I'm at here and what I've got. Let's see. Okay, I got a shotgun that we repaired. I've got a, a sawed-off shotgun and a light assault rifle and a pistol and a sentry saber, although I don't know if I'm ever going to use that. Uh, armor. We, we still have, what's this? Armor management. Drag armor or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, and tag them as junk or drop them. Okay, so we did get another piece of armor. Uh, this armor's level 3 that we're wearing, and... Um, it's a light armor and it gives you plus five to tech. This one that we found is a rebuilt mining gear. It's armor four, so it's a little bit more uh, for defense and it gives you stealth skills plus five. So you're kind of trading off, you know, the uh, the tech for the, for the uh, stealth, but you're getting better armor. So I'm gonna switch. Isn't that pretty? And then, let's see, I think that's it. Let's look at our journal. These are our quests, I guess, and you can change them by type or region, location. Quest type, location, region, newest, alphabetically. Boy, you can really sort those out, can't you? Okay, and we have completed, which you don't have any yet, and botched, which we fortunately haven't botched anything yet. So right now, we've only got the one quest. Uh, the first one was to find the ship, which we did. Now we need to find the power regulator to get the ship going. And we have to go into town for that. In the codex, which we haven't looked at yet, is just all kinds of information. Cool. Holographic shroud. What? The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on site. Good to know. Okay, we do also have a map, which that might be kind of handy. So this is where we're at here. Oh, we can fast travel to that area. I suppose we have to find another fast travel spot though. Um, this is us and that's the fast travel and that's where we need to go so let's uh, let's head off that way make sure I've got a proper weapon and let's go and we're gonna be kind of exploring as we go I don't want to miss anything here's uh, something I realized early on is you can't see anything in here which is the reason why when you crouch and go in there other people can't see you but I noticed that when I was looking for dead guys I couldn't find them but if you crouch and walk in here now you can see so if you're looking for something in the high grass this is a way to do it by the way I am playing this ice cold I know nothing about this game I did hear that Obsidian was making a game. The only reason I even knew 
who Obsidian uh, were, uh, was it the uh, was um, Fallout New Vegas? They made Fallout New Vegas. Oh, there's something up there. Hmm. Do I go up there? It's probably Marauders. Well, I don't want to get into too much trouble before I've even got to town, so let's just take our time. Oh, there's dead Marauders. Oh, not all of them are dead. All right, let's see what we can do here. He's pissed. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, I just shot him. <laughs> Let me get my bow. Oh, there he is. Whoa! Got him. All enemies have weak spots that inflict extra damage when hit on humans. Shoot to the head. Alright, I couldn't see all of that, but let's put that away. We'll gather up whatever goodies we have. I got a little confused because I saw these dead guys on the ground. And I thought it was more of the Marauders, but they're not. They're residents. Anyway, as I was saying, I, I know absolutely nothing about this game. And any game that I'm actually playing, I don't watch other videos of other people playing it. And uh, I have my reasons for that. Uh, occasionally, I have to admit that if I'm playing a game that has puzzles in it or things like that, uh, and I get confused, and I just get so frustrated that I just want to rage quit the game, then I'll go watch a video that will lead me to a solution for whatever problem I'm having. And people can say, oh my god, oh my god, you're cheating. That's fine. It's my game. I paid $50, $60 for the game. I'm not talking about this one. $50, $60 for a game that I'm stuck at and I'm so frustrated I don't even want to play it anymore. You know, is it is it bad that I want to find out how to get through that thing that's, that's you know, got me stuck in the game so I can continue enjoying my $60 game? I don't think so. So, occasionally I have done that. But most of the time, I buy a game because I want to play it and enjoy it. I want to be, I want to explore. I want to learn things for myself. I want to be surprised. So I don't want to watch somebody else play it. Uh, for that, for for that reason. Hello, all right, friend. Oh, hey. Oh, uh, hey. Um, uh, I don't know. Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. I never thought about that. I wasn't in civilization at the time. Um, why do you say that? Well, it's obvious. Don't be so sure I could be a marauder. You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. <laughs> These guys are always selling, aren't they? Uh, never got your name. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that. God, I guess not. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay, so Junior in humor, is that your name? Or is your occupation like a comic in humor? What What does exactly... Well, he works in a graveyard. X, X humor maybe um, this place looks like it's falling to please no let's ask him the question junior and humor what the hell hey I earned that fancy title started off a lowly junior gravesite builder then junior interment engineer oh and I was a junior burial assistant for a time oh uh, okay you seem kind of old to be a junior the rate I've been working, I'm bound to earn a promotion. Must be about 50, 60 burials away from associate in humor. So you're just waiting for people to die, I guess, huh? 
All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask you about the power regulator, but the second one intrigues me. I'm looking to make money. Has he got jobs to do? Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the what? company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. I'm hoping that they're paying for burial sites for relatives because they're not dead yet or they couldn't be paying. Okay, so you want me to collect? You're making people pay for their own graves? Yeah, that's that's a good one. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town 10 feet under, free of charge. <laughs> nice guy. Um, why can't you do it yourself? Quotas, mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know? Probably not. Well, let's see. Um, all right. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. All right, what's so special about him? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Oh, well, okay. Uh, where can I find them? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Well, there you go. I had other things I wanted to ask you. Now, the reasons why I wanted to ask him about this first was because, you know, I haven't played this game. If I ask the wrong question, will it not let you ask it, you know, these things that you've missed? Like, if I told him I was looking for this piece from my ship, does that end our conversation when he gives me an answer? So I'm kind of looking at these things to determine which one I should, you know, talk to him about first. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. So how long have you been this in humor? Hang on, I'm doing some math <laughs> in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one, uh, all my life. You had to add that up. Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Well, I can help you with that. So, um... Town's in pretty bad shape. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. I'll take your word for that. So, you're not worried about uh, falling sick yourself, since you're around the dead bodies? Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Or dies. All right, so we're down to my question. Uh, who do I talk to about the power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Uh, okay, let's see if he's got something else I haven't talked to him about. Yeah? He knows a lot of people are okay. Well, they don't seem, nobody seems to know anything about the Hope. That's the ship that all the people that I came from are all asleep up there. Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Okay. Were they after loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. Well, we couldn't have that. All right, so I think I got everything out of him. I, you know, there was something I was curious about, though. Let me talk to him again, if he'll talk to me. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint uh -huh, on your clients. Aha, it's a grave joke. Um... 
Okay, what I was curious about, let me let me ask him this question. I think it's gonna take me right back to where we were just were. Yeah. Okay, I didn't ask him about the hope. But what is this? It looks like a clock up here. And it it isn't on everything. What is this? History. Oh, it's a history of our conversation. He says, I say, he says, I got it. All right. Cool beans. Well, let's ask him about the hope while we got this open. The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason uh, you're asking? No, not particularly. Just curious. Okay, let's change the subject. I don't know if it's a good idea for me to say anything about that, so they might think I'm crazy and put me in a grave. Something I can do nah, for you? No, that was it. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta I gotta find out about that. I don't know if I want to give out too, mi too much information about who I am, because they are after the guy that let me loose, so, you know, what's that all about? Okay. Let's move on in. Hello. Can we talk to these guys? Beats working at okay. The I can really go for some salt tuna. What is salt tuna? Is it salt tuna? I would hope it might be, because if it's not, what else could it be? Well, Edgewater, isn't that cool? Look at this guy. Isn't this pretty? Edgewater, Employment Community, Spacer's Choice. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't want to go barging right in, but is there is there places we can go loot, or what are we supposed to do in this game? Oh, I discovered the cemetery. Well, it took a little while. Can we go in these places? No, can't go in there. Is there things to loot? You know what? If there is, it said don't get seen doing it. So let me close the door because I don't see anybody else in here. And there, it looks like there's stuff to pick up. What's this? Do you want to end your years in luxury and comfort? Do you dream of walking beneath the vaulted arches of <laughs> Byzantium? Early retirement is finally here. Early retirement is your ticket to Byzantium. Early retirement is Chairman Rockwell and Minister Clark's gift to you. Selection for the early retirement process is by lottery. Winners enjoy an all-expense-paid trip to their new life in Byzantium, the jewel of Halcyon. That sounds a little dicey to me. Okay, there's tops to the graves. There's coffins. This must be his work area. Oh! Oh, it's red. It says I'm stealing it. Nobody's looking, though, right? I'm going to take a shovel. I don't know why. Might want to dig something. What's this? Trip tease? Trip tease. Is that supposed to be like strip tease? Uh, pep pills? Okay, I can't get in can't get in there. We can get in here, though. Ooh, a riot control helmet. I'll take that. Why can't we get in there? Oh, I don't have enough things. Um, I thought I had a bunch of those. Can we get in this thing? Terminal access. Messages. Uh, from Inhumans Association. From Inhumers Association. Your subscription to the Inhumers Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publications, Shovels, Gazette, and Quarterly. Ooh. Okay. Inventory logs. Burial invoice. Password require. Do we want to waste a pass... Uh, a, a bypass, hack bypass, just to find out who was buried. I think I'll wait. I'm not sure. 
I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do yet. I may regret it, but I can't get in there for some reason. Alright, let's get out of here. Can't get in there. What's around the corner here? Now, wait a minute. Are those graveyards? What are those? Oh, they're to protect the graves, I think. Alright, what's up the stairs? Hello? Anybody home? Nobody's here. Let's loot. Armor parts? Is that mods? Is that modded stuff? Whoa! This guy's loaded. Nothing. I like how the drawers automatically open for you. That's pretty convenient. Okay, I can get in this one. Fun time barrel, whisper, quiet, muzz. Hey, we got some more uh, gun armor, uh, gun mods. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I don't wanna mess around too much down in here. I'm gonna get caught. I have no idea what happens if you do. Did I miss anything on the table? Yeah, I got that. Steel Zero G Brew. There's a shovel, but I've already got a shovel. Uh, steel Mag Pick. Okay, I might be able to take that back to that other place and get in that thing I couldn't get in before. Here's a bathroom. Well, this is kind of a small place. I already stole a shovel. I don't think I need two of them. I don't want to carry too much. All right. Let's get out of here. Wasn't it just nighttime? It's daytime. Let me go back in here. Oh, I left the door open. Ooh. Maybe I didn't. Maybe somebody else did. Okay, let's see if I can get in here uh, now. No, I need one more. It takes three. Oh, bummer. Might be something cool in there, though, if it takes that much to get in. Okay. That looked like more graveyard that way, but I don't know. It might not be. Let's tool around this way and see what we can find. What are these? Are these just ruins of homes or something? Taste of freedom. Yeah, freedom never smelled so good, huh? I'm hearing critters. What kind of critters I don't know, but critters. Oh, jeez. What the hell are those? Rats or something? God, they're all over the place. At least they're not attacking me. Can't get in there. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. Can't get in there. What's that place down there? Okay, there's a green thing. Oh, I see, I see. It's another way in the city. I got it. Oh, can we take this stuff? Bit cartridges. I can open that one. A impact hammer. Mag 2 power and bit cartridge. Sweet. Can we get in here? No. Bet we can get in that one. Okay, so the ones that look like this, I can't get in. But th that looks like it's lit up. You see the hinges? Okay. That one had an upstairs. Oh, there's something on the porch. Energy cell. Oh, another one of those.
pre-sliced bread. And they spell bread B-R-E-D. Up, oh, I can get in that one. Ooh, lots of ammo and pep pills. How did I live without pep? Oh, I forgot to shut the door behind me. Oh, bad me. So what's this down here? Uh... I don't know. What what quest am I on, anyway? I forgot to look. Journal. Quests. I'm still on the main quest. Okay, I wanted to jump over to the... Um, to the graveyard quest. Okay, here we are. Okay. Now, 18 meters in there... Did I miss something? Can we get it? Oh, that guy's got a mark on him now. He must be one of the guys that owes for the grave. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Yeah, no, it's not me. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. No, no, you got it wrong. I'm not one of those. Um... The hell are you babbling about? The war, the coming apocalypse, man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier, cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Really? I still don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I asked for backup, and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing? Shoulder to shoulder with the resistance. All right. Well, I hate to say it, but whatever you're talking about, I, I, I'm just here to look for your grave site fees. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he wants to hire me. Okay, let's do that first, then. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. A few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. <laughs> Did you already eat the uh, salt tuna out of it? Uh, I need I need actual money. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. All right, cool. What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Okay, I guess I can do that. I'm killing mara those marauders. But if I'm going after the scout, uh, can you give me some pointers? Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is um, the blue glowy square <laughs> oh, thing. jeez. You're kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got some questions for you before I, before I ask you about uh, your gravesite fees. Go on. What is it that you actually do? I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially, unofficially, strictly between you and me, I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Really? Think highly of yourself, do you? All right. I need to know about your gravesite fees. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Uh, okay. Uh, he sure did. He's asking for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with mechanical repellent. I like that. Mechanical repellent. A stroke of inspiration from the law itself. 
Yeah, I've been saving up a couple of bits for just such a project. <laughs> you guys are morons. All right, thank you. Jeez. <laughs> that was too easy. Well, we got three more to go. 